Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix alarm not working after iOS 26. So let's get started. So very first thing, let's go ahead and open up our clock app, and then we're going to go to alarms. You know, make sure that you have the alarm there. Sometimes alarms get deleted or removed or even turned off. If so, turn it on, and then you're going to tap on it to verify things like what well, if it's on repeat. To make sure it's on selected date that you have and then the other label as well make sure the sound if you're looking for it it's selected to a sound you can hear changes and then any of these settings now better yet what you can do is simply delete that alarm and then create and create that alarm again this way it ensures that you can set the right thing and when you did the upgrade it doesn't uh, essentially you know, mess anything up so just recreate that alarm now after you have done that and let's say you still have issues it's not working the next thing you want to go ahead is go into your setting and then go to general and then we're going to look for date and time and it's really important that the date and time is set correctly so you're going to look at that time that's set and the date on the phone as well if it's not set correctly you want to turn it off and manually adjust these the right date and time especially if you move around and it's not correct on the right zone of course the alarm not going to work ideally it should automatically pick up your date and time based on your location but in scenario it doesn't, you want to turn manually do it and then turn it back on. Now, if you're still having issue, the next thing you're going to do is go back to your main setting here, and then you're going to go to Face ID and Passcode. Enter your phone's passcode. Now, with this setting turned on, what you're going to look for is this setting right here called Attention Awareness Feature. So as you can see here, the setting right now we have it turned on we need to turn that setting off as a solution so go ahead and turn that off now if you're still having issues the next thing you're going to go into is go back to the main settings this time we're going to look for sounds and haptics and in the sounds and haptics here you you see the rings and alert you're going to make sure this is not accidentally all the way down you're going to go adjust it to a little bit further up and even more to ensure that is working now, if you're still having issue, the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is, in your setting, you're going to look at Bluetooth. Make sure that you're not connected to external Bluetooth. Sometimes an alarm might be connected to another device, so you might be expecting the alarm to go off on the phone, but it's going off on another device. A good way to check is turning it off and then setting an alarm and seeing if it works. And then if you know, that means it's connected. If it's connected to a device, you might consider turning it off or even headphones. Now, another thing you also want to check out is in your settings, you want to make sure that you don't have a focus mode turn on, specifically the sleep one. Sometimes if you set this one up, it might mute some of the alerts. So you want to turn any of the sleep mode or even do not disturb. You can also do it from the top here. If you accidentally have do not disturb turned on, you'll see an icon right here on the screen to indicate that. You want to go ahead and simply tap and turn that off as well. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing to do is go ahead and do this method. You're going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down the side button. So I'm going to do this. Volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button just like this. And we're going to wait for the screen to go completely black and the Apple logo to appear before we let go of this side button. So as you can see, I'm holding down here and waiting for my Apple logo to show, and I let go. Again, all I did was quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down this big side button. This is known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software, reloads the code. This method will not delete any of your data, so all of your photos, videos, apps still will be on your phone, but an important step to do if you're having issues. Sometimes it does take a couple tries to get it, so keep on trying. Now finally, if you're back onto your phone, the other thing you want to check out is in your setting, and go to general, software update, and check if there's an update out. Sometimes a previous update, uh, might have been issue, you might see a new update to fix a bug fix, so go ahead and update your phone. And lastly, if all of these methods are not working, what you want to do is in your setting, go to general, scroll all the way down to transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and you're going to want to reset all settings. So I'm going to enter my phone's passcode. The reset all settings basically resets all the settings. It will not delete any of your data like photos, videos, apps, message, documents, whatever you have, just the settings themselves. But an important way and the last resort when it comes to troubleshooting alarm not working. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more 
tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.